Have you ever resisted the temptation to not cheat on a diet? Or do you not buy unnecessary things to save on monthly expenses? These are all simple forms of self-discipline. According to a journal written by Zimmerman and Kitsantas in 2014, self-discipline is broadly defined as conscious control of results which helps in overcoming obstacles or obstacles successfully. One of the leading scientists in the study of self-control, Angela Duckworth, also defines self-discipline as the ability to suppress stronger responses and demand self-awareness. Benefits of self-discipline A famous philosopher, Lao Tzu once said, controlling others is strength, but controlling oneself is true strength. This is the meaning of self-discipline. Second, controlling your thoughts and behavior has great benefits in your personal and professional life. In some studies, researchers have even found that self-discipline not only predicts students' academic achievement, but also improves their grades throughout the school year. In addition, children with the highest levels of discipline in preschool and primary school are more likely to have fewer health problems, use fewer problem substances, and manage their personal finance as well. Compared. Fortunately, self-discipline is a skill and anyone can improve it. However, it takes practice and requires us to be patient and kind to ourselves. Reporting from Psychology Today, here are some tips or things I can do to start developing self-discipline. 1. Be aware of every decision or things made every day. We make decisions about how we live. For example, figuring out what to eat, when to sleep, or whether we should send someone a positive passive message. We can also avoid temptation or buy low nutrition foods, snacks, or other high calorie foods as a form of self-discipline. The goal is to become aware of what works for us and apply these strategies regularly to create positive changes in our lives. 2. Always seek to know. Holocaust psychiatrist Viktor Frankl once said that people who are still trying to find a way to live survive for a variety of reasons. When looking for reasons why we want to do something, we can remind ourselves of those reasons when the going gets tough. This helps us maintain self-discipline even under pressure. 3. Make a plan. If we don't know where we are going, we can get distracted more easily. However, if we have a clear daily or weekly action plan or steps, it can help us achieve our goals. Whether it's increasing good habits and reducing bad ones, or learning a new skill, having a clear plan will help us succeed. 4. Start small. A famous quote says, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Or a long journey can start with a small step. Now that we have a plan, let's take it step by step and start small. Don't try to do everything in one week, as that can make us feel overwhelmed and can cause us to give up on our plans. 5. Get rid of temptation. Letting go of temptation can significantly affect our chances of achieving good results. In psychology, there is a theory called ego depletion, which argues that will is a limited resource and that we also have limited mental resources to resist temptation. For example, we may refuse to drink three cups of coffee before lunch or refrain from getting angry with co-workers. In the end, however, we may have fewer resources to resist other temptations. So we may want to eliminate the temptations around us if we are to develop good habits and set ourselves up for greater success. That's the video this time, if you think this video is useful, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends so we can continue to provide interesting content. Thank you for watching.